You know, I, I you know one of the great thrills of what I do is is making action films, and you know this for me uh, had some amazing locations. Uh, I've always been inspired by the James Bond sort of movies. You know how they get to go to all these exotic locations, and on and, and for us on this one, we get to do these big set pieces. You know the big swimming pool hit in Sydney, and then we get to go to Thailand and break out of this uh, prison on top of a rock. We get to, uh, you know, we get to go to uh, Rio. Uh, we get to jump off this cable car. So these are big, great set pieces in, in fantastic sort of parts of the world. Uh, and, you know, Bishop gets to do these ingenious sort of hits. He gets to, we get to see a side of Bishop in this that we haven't seen before. He gets to, we get to eke out some of the emotional sort of elements that he's been suppressing for, for the previous film. Uh, and, um, you know, I get to work with some good actors. I mean, what more do you need? We, we, get, to, we get to sort of unravel the backstory for Bishop. So it's a, it's a great chance for us to see what he did before he became a mechanic. Uh, we, uh, we touch on that for a little while. Jessica's really, she takes her part really seriously, you know, uh, and I think there's something really uh, admirable about that. I mean, she didn't want to play a damsel in distress. She didn't want to play the submissive girl that can't do anything. She really wanted to bring this, this sort of girl that had, could stand her, on her own feet and do this uh, and not be a pushover. And at the same time be doing a, a real, something, the job that she was doing outside of the character she was playing was really important to her, working with the kids. and You know, she conjured up this whole uh, Gina character to something that was never written that way. So, you know, she's, uh, she's got great vision for all that stuff and um, uh, hats off to, to Jessica to, for the character and, and how it all turned out in the movie. Well, Tommy Lee Jones, I love him. You know, he's, uh, he's as dry as a bone. Uh, and, you know, he comes in and he's a, the, the ultimate professional. He gets his, comes in, and, I mean, you learn so much working with people that have had these, you know, decades of experience. No, because there's only a certain amount of styles anyway. Uh, you know, and it's not like you want to be rolling on the ground and performing, you know, intricate jujitsu moves because it's not practical for what this character's doing. You know, a lot of the stuff, that we need Bishop to do is to get in and get out. We don't want him sort of rolling around on the floor performing submission techniques. So you can only, you have to sort of, you have to paint the picture of what the style of the fighting is in accordance to the location and in accordance to what the drama of that situation is. How many guys, you know, uh, I'll give you an example. At the beginning of the movie, we're in, um, we're in Rio. Uh, and we're in this Rio cafe, and basically a ton of a ton of bad guys sort of turn up to take Bishop out. Uh, but they're not looking to kill him. Uh, he, he's looking to get out of this situation, and you know he's in a public place, so he's not looking to kill anybody either. So he's got to figure out how to fight his way through these people uh, without killing anybody, uh, and at the same time putting these guys out of commission. So it's. The style of what you choose to make that happen is, I don't think it has a style because it might have an overflow of different styles that just come through just by virtue of what we're doing, but I don't think there's a particular style. It's just a mismatch of, of action. Did you know that Dwayne Johnson was Tim Burton's second choice for the role of Willy Wonka in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which went to Johnny Depp? Do they seriously look alike, according to Barton? Who do you prefer as an actor, Depp or The Rock? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to click here for more videos. Thanks for watching.